Hello. Hey guys. Uh, I think that's what you're supposed to say. You have to start every hey stream. Guys. Hey guys, Sean Barry here. Uh, we were going to show you some No Man's Sky. Um, we've just like wrapped up work on a patch which just came out today. People are starting with early copies to get on our servers. Um, but hopefully everyone else is going to get hold of this tomorrow. Um, so we wanted to kind of show you a little bit of what the game actually is and what it's like to play. So we're just going to, there is no plan here at the moment. We're just going to play for an hour um, and see what happens. It's kind of a weird random game. So hopefully, hopefully it'll be fun. Um, so let's just boot into the game. So, I should explain, this is Grant. Hello. <laughs> How you going? Uh, uh, and uh, Grant, our uh, art director. I do the colours. I make things look pretty. Yeah. Um, and so, me and Grant work together. Hello Games is like a reasonably small team. So the art team is what? Five people? Five artists now, yeah. Yeah, which is like, that feels big for us. Uh, so this is what you see when you boot up, um, you see the galactic map um, and you can see if you look around uh, like names of different star systems and stuff and as you guys start to like explore and name stuff then those are going to become real names that you've found and it will have your little like gamer tag and stuff like that on there. Um, which is cool, and I've been watching that all day. I've been watching like journalists play on our build and name things Planet Poo and Land. Poo Band, <laughs> Planet like Planet Face, um, and so you know maybe people could name things better things than that. Uh, so uh, here we are. This is a save that I've got from. A few hours into the game, not long into the game at all. Um, this is a planet actually that like wouldn't have existed before our update, our update which has just come out. Um, so this is kind of like a dead world, I think. I think there are no creatures, or at least I didn't find anyone on the planet before. Um, so it's like a dead moon basically. It's hot. It is very hot. Um, so, well, it's only a little bit hot because you can see the um, like shielding going down reasonably slowly. Um, 68 degrees, what's that? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, yeah, we don't don't support Fahrenheit display. We need that for the option. Um, so I'm just going to have a wander around and show you a little bit of this planet. Big ass sky. Um, and go see what's out there. Uh, so remember this when I was playing before, there's some really nice cave networks in this place. Um, again, you can let us know in our updates. Uh, that's one of the things I added, you get like much bigger caves and caverns and stuff like that than you would have had before. Um, so I can do like a little scan. Uh, let's see, that should show up like resources and stuff. Uh, I don't think I've got an upgraded scan. So let me just see. So if I go into the inventory, you see your ship, your suit, and your weapon. So actually, um, this is like our uh, like pre-order version. Come back out of there. Uh, so that's the ship you get when you pre-order if you want to do that. Uh, and the weapon that you get. I sound like I'm on like some sort of sales. You know. This ship can be yours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I actually, I'm going to say something really bad, um, you can like choose to get that ship or that weapon um, like whenever you want through the game and I sort of prefer to play like without that for the initial bit 
Yeah, stops, I think, stops you skipping. Uh, yeah, it's a little nice, bit harder nice and section, stuff. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's fine. It kind of sorts it out and stuff like that. But personally, uh, I don't like to skip any of the cameras. You know, yeah, it looks nice, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a really nice ship. Um, so then you can redeem. You can redeem it at any time. You can like grab it at any time. So you can just play on for a bit and grab it if you want. The same for the weapon and stuff like that. Um, this is cool. These are actually really valuable. Vortex cubes. Uh, so you sometimes find those in caves. They are, uh, they are worth an awful lot of money. Um, they're like a Corvax creation. Um, so selling them to Corvax or in Corvax own systems, which is one of our like alien races, um, is a little bit more valuable. Um, and that's, I'll, I'll shut up because that's probably some sort of spoiler or something. Um, right, I'm completely lost in this cave network right now. Uh, so <laughs> you'll see up the top, um, I've got like two kind of markers at the top of the screen um, and the, that's on my compass so you'll see one of them is my ship uh, and one of them is my grave that's my grave over there from when I died <laughs> last time uh, so if you die you can go and find your like grave and it will have you know your inventory and stuff but if you die on your way to find that then that's it it's gone kind of thing um, so you get, to, you get one chance at that, uh, which leads to some like really nice moments sometimes. It's like super high pressure when you're going like to find your grave. Uh, like I am, I haven't been paying attention. I am actually now lost in these caves, uh, and they are, they are super huge. Um, so if I had a, like a more powerful mining laser, or if I had plasma disruptor or something like that then I could like blow a hole in these caves uh, but I'm early in the game so I don't know that there's my ship uh, so <laughs> that was really worried <laughs> <laughs> yeah the uh, one hour twitch stream of us lost in a cave network kind of thing um, so uh, I'm going to point out like something yeah something kind of embarrassing uh, like or, well cool uh, but I have to point this out Look, these lights, these lights on things, right? So <laughs> the way No Man's Sky is made is like it's procedurally generated, right? Um, so like no one's built that cave network. Uh, oh, what's I get a milestone for? Uh, wandering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wandering aimlessly to cave. I obviously haven't been played for very long. Um, so... Uh, those journey milestones are important. We, we can come to that. You'll discover that. They just also make the game look cool. I love what, when one of them comes up. Uh, no, the the lights. The lights are cool because, like, normally in a game, um, if you're wandering around, uh, like somebody would have built this world, and it would be like a level or whatever. Um, and you know, so what would happen is I would walk out of a cave, and then that cave would get like turned off, right? and then uh, like in the engine or whatever, it would all just disappear. You know, the standard thing, like if you're playing Gears of War or something, you always go down and you go down a little ramp and then like everything behind you gets turned off or whatever. Uh, and we can't do that with No Man's Sky. So like, as I'm walking around, there's this like incredibly expensive scene underneath me. That's incredibly expensive to render. Uh, there's got like so many lights thousands of lights uh, and I'm really I, I think it's really cool um, because uh, like like look this scene it's awesome like we we can't use any cheats basically this is a real planet huge mountains enormous kind of cave networks stuff like that um, and it's really real so normally in a game we probably don't realize when you're playing but normally there's all sorts of kind of trickery going on behind the scenes and it's kind of this fake like um like almost like a film set that you're walking through yeah, smoke and mirrors all that yeah. dirty tricks <laughs> yeah we can't do any of that so much um okay so there's um uh this will be some iridium so when i scan like that you can see some like glowing cubes and that normally means there's some resources in there so I happen to know that this is iridium, so I can mine some of that. Um, which actually looks a bit nicer, I think, since the update. Anyway, 
some new effects and stuff, and all things. Um, grab some titanium. Uh, titanium crystals you'd normally find on hot planets like this. Um, so it's quite, it's actually reasonably rare. Um, they just form on these kind of things. Uh, oh, there's a knowledge stone. So if you find one of these, uh, these will teach you words. Um, and so then if you like meet NPCs then uh, and you know their words, then you'll kind of know a bit more of what they're trying to say to you. And there are like thousands of words to learn, kind of thing, um, in each alien vocab. I don't think, I don't think, uh, in all my time playing No Man's Sky, I don't think I've ever actually learned the full, the full set of any one language, uh, which is, yeah, again, slightly embarrassing. Uh, all right, let's go and get my grave. So you can see as well, it's like slowly turning to night time. Um, and hopefully we will see a nice sunset. So how far away is your grave? Really? All right. Uh, it is 31 seconds away. Um, you often see people who just can't be bothered to walk any distance at all in No Man's Sky. It always cracks me up. They just go straight to their ship. They're like, I have... It's like going down to the shops, you know, like... It's like people like, at Uber everywhere. Kind of <laughs> yeah. uh, let me go find this. Wow, this place looks cool. Okay, so you'll see a thing, actually, um, a fair amount in the early game where you're running out of inventory. Like, we actually made inventory slots much bigger post the update and I think we're probably going to make them even bigger next time around um, like in our next update uh, so each slot now holds like 250 in your suit whereas it used to hold 100 um, in terms of resources so that's a reasonable amount of mining um, but if you're out of space like I am here and I've got like a base sized suit which is reasonably small uh, then I can poop teleport or poop as I call it uh, stuff over to my ship um, even when it's out of range, so I'm just transfer stuff over. And for some reason, this is really satisfying. Uh, I think it's a like good, a good noise. <laughs> I'm just gonna tidy up, uh, poop this stuff over. Um, and you can see my ship's getting kind of full now. But you can see my ship holds like 500 in each slot, kind of thing. Um, and this again is a base size ship, and they get way bigger than this. Uh, so hopefully if I play a little bit longer, I'm going to show you that I'll load up a different save and move over to that in a little bit. Um, and it's night time. It's quite pretty night time actually. So yeah, planet this, like this is the weird thing with our game. With our first update and probably we'll do this with other updates. Like this planet wouldn't have existed before. And just kind of came into existence. So there's slightly weird patch notes if you if you update, which is like your progress hasn't been lost, but absolutely everything has changed. The planet that you were on has changed. The building you were just walking into no longer exists. Um, yeah, you are now you're in roughly the same part of the uh, galaxy, but um, that galaxy has changed shape and <laughs> is now much bigger and stuff like that. You have, uh, same, you have the same ship. You have the same, same ship, same, same, weapon. same weapon, same suit and stuff. It's just kind of a weird... I don't know that any other game does that. It's like... it uh, For people who don't know the game, that's maybe going to blow their minds a little bit. Um, okay, let's get out of here. So you generally need plutonium, which I have plenty of, to like fuel your uh, kind of landing gear, launch thrusters. Um, and then when you're out in space, uh, you need thamium, which you can normally get from asteroids, uh, uh, to like power your ship and make it go faster. Um, some little, there was things I was thinking, things we never tell you, basically. 
Uh, so if you press, at any time, if you press left on the D-pad, um, it brings up the HUD and you can normally see like uh, mission instructions and stuff like that. So you can normally see like, um, you know, if there's a certain tip or something that you're supposed to be doing or something like that, uh, then that will pop up. But then the rest of the time we just let everything disappear kind of thing. Because this is a game where you might want to record footage or um, take screenshots or whatever. Uh, so these asteroids, I think, contain Thamium. And I'm, I'm really bad for just always just sitting and mining asteroids. Um, which is a whole <laughs> Yeah, I like shooting stuff. And I also like the game Asteroids. Um, <laughs> like the sun setting and this is one of those weird things that I explained to people if you land on the dark side of a planet then it's nighttime and if you land on the bright side of a planet it's daytime and I know that's really obvious <laughs> but uh, watching people play it really confuses them um, it's quite funny uh, okay so I'm going to pulse drive up to the space station and these are massive distances you're dealing with when you're out in space um, huge distances so that's another thing that is a bit weird for No Man's Sky is that like when you're on planet often you know a waypoint or a building that you're trying to get to or something like that it can have a little marker over it that says like one day away or three days away or six hours away you know or whatever on foot we would generally advise that you don't walk towards something like that uh, that you get in your ship um, and the same like if you're not using your pulse drive things are uh, like crazy far away um, and, like, don't don't just slowly go over to use your pulse drive uh, I like the idea of somebody not reading the tip that tells you to do that uh, and just spending like seven days slowly making their way to the space station so I'm going to come in here and maybe sell some of the stuff that I got on the planet. And I can never bother to take the stairs. <laughs> So this is a trading room, uh, use the galactic terminal, sell some stuff. So big thing since our update actually is that uh, trading is a little bit deeper. Um, you'll see that uh, you will have certain items like these that can be either really expensive because they're in need um, or really low priced because uh, this system has way too much of it or whatever and that's balanced against the kinds of things that are available in that system um, so there's this little meta game if you're playing as a trader where you're like trying to figure out what those things are and then maybe thinking oh there was a nearby system that had that or whatever um, okay, we're but these are all hooked into the same galactic the galactic, the galactic economy <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, let's sell some stuff. What do I have? Uh, my suit's empty because I pooped it all over to this. Uh, right. So, emerald um, is really valuable but quite hard to find. Uh, that vortex cube is worth a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, which is cool if you get a system where you find vortex cubes and they are like kind of in need then you are you are rich my friend um, let's see what else I've got uh, titanium things like precious metals are normally like a good thing as a trader 
uh, to be kind of buying and selling. Um, things that you use as fuel, like plutonium, thamium, and stuff like that, they're not necessarily kind of, you know, they're, they're worth collecting, but to be honest, you'd rather, I would rather like gather that stuff just for fuel, right? Yeah. Rather than trading and that kind of thing. But some of those rare items you use for like the, the later technologies that you build, so sometimes you'll sell something and then an hour later you'll find this technology that needs it and then you'll have to search and find it again. Which door did I come in? This oh. door. Uh, so yeah, the the like aliens that you meet are kind of all different and stuff. Um, so you can try buying and selling from them, um, and they'll give you different prices and things like that. You've also got a standing with each race. So depending on that, like it affects things. It affects what trade and options might be available to you and stuff like that. Normally, you'll go and talk to them first, and they might have some kind of um, like quandary or thing or whatever that they want but after that uh, if you go back and talk to them there are often like more options available to you depending on what um, I guess what your standing is with them and standing comes from things like uh, like helping them out perhaps saving one of the race in like a ship battle or doing something nice for them or whatever um, and it can go it can go up as well as down Uh, okay, so he has a way bigger ship than me, um, as you can see just by looking at it. Uh, it's a kick-ass ship. Um, and he's got loads of really nice tech installed, uh, and it is suitably expensive. right? Uh, so you can compare my ship with his, and you can see the difference in the number of slots, and like that's really important. But like there are ships that are way bigger than the two of those combined, pretty much. Um, and like if you're a trader, that's what you want to have. Uh, so I cannot afford that ship right now. Alright, let's go back to mine. Oh, look at that cute little ship. Hi, guy. Uh, I could probably afford that, but. Your wind's cooler. My wind's cooler. This is a really busy spaceport. Um, so the trade lines yeah. yeah so these are trade lines you'll see little traders going along them um, so I could go after that guy um, and he would be a real guy and I could shoot him and <laughs> the police would come after me if I so wished uh, let me see if there's a nearby planet let's go down here this is, this is terrifying doing a stream Oh, no, that's Sky. I have no idea what this is. Uh, maybe this will be horrible. Um, it's a minute away. Uh, a cool thing that people don't know is that when you're in pulse drive, um, you can just let go of the pad and you can kind of go into your inventory and you can do things like, you know, install tech or upgrade your, like, pulse engine or refuel it or whatever as you go type of thing. Um, which is quite a nice little time saver. You can also slowly drink a beer. <laughs> you can if you don't get attacked. Uh, okay, uh, this is not what I wanted to try and shoot some dudes on the, <laughs> on the stream. Okay, here we go. Uh, oh. uh, so, attacks like this happen based on, like, what? you've got in your inventory. Um, you can see there that times two, that's me getting critical hits. Um, I've also got a drift turn, which is on break, and something like this fighter ship. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right, I got him. Uh, 
and then you get I got whatever he was carrying normally traders carry more valuable stuff but these guys might have already stolen stuff from a trader and then they'll have that in their inventory uh, so I've got three you can see my shield at the top left and I've got like three hit points left basically uh, oh god Oh no! <laughs> uh, right, I haven't got anything to refill my shield, so. Uh, but my standing with the Gek gets increased. Yeah, that guy I was talking to a minute ago was Gek, Gek dude. Um, right, let's just get that to this planet. Uh, I could have mined some iron or something like that. Um, it's early game, so I'm getting a lot of these journey milestones um, for doing not very much, um, but like it's like trophies and things like that. Uh, initially, they're easy, and then after that, they get a lot harder. Is this the, is this the planet I just came from? So I would probably want to gather some iron, which you get from like rocks and dead things. You often get things like carbon and stuff from things that have been alive, um, you know, which like makes sense. Science. <laughs> uh, so you get metals and things like that from rocks, terrain, things like that. You get like stuff like silicon and stuff from the ground, um, and then some of our made up elements like chrysonite and things. Um, okay, so that's like a little look at the early stages of the game, right? Um, and so I'm going to try and switch over to like a, a save I've got like a good few hours in or whatever. Um, and while we do that, Grant and I can drink a beer. Just have a relax. <laughs> You should have named a planet. That would mm. be the... Yeah, no. People are doing it though. They're well, like we they've taken all the good names. They could have suggested a name. That would have been. Yeah, that would have been super slick. <laughs> let me just let me just read what Twitch is saying. Ah! <laughs> science, 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 yeah. science, science. Just strange faces, funny faces. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, let's suggest a name. Uh, right, let's just boot this up. Uh, so hopefully this works. I think this save is what, like 15 hours in or 20 hours in or something like that. Um, let's see. Uh, so I've got like a bigger inventory and stuff like that, but I'm also a little bit further along my journey. So there's loads of things that I haven't said that I'm supposed to say, like um, in No Man's Sky, you start at the edge of the galaxy and you try and find your way to the inside. Um, and uh, like on that journey, things get more and more difficult and more and more weird and other like cooler resources and stuff like that come about. Um, that's definitely more pronounced uh like since we since we updated um and we're going to keep updating the game yeah so you like, get you get cooler weapons and cooler ships yeah. the more you play as well loads of people online were like oh, they they uh you know like if if the game is updated was it finished or whatever and it's like well no man's sky will pretty much never be finished in, in that weird way, that maybe sounds bad. We're going to keep updating it. Yeah. What it is now, 
that and version what it was will finished. Be. <laughs> this, this new version is also finished. <laughs> yeah. and the next what it is also. now. Yeah. Um, I guess what it is now compared to what it will be in like a year's time will be really different. Or two years' time if we're still working on it or whatever. People will still have us working on it forever and ever. <laughs> They'll have this really long beard. Um. <laughs> shall I? Uh, shall I restart that skill? Uh, uh. When you to Twitch, we don't really understand how this really work. Uh, let me just try oh. and restart. Just from a technical difficulty screen with some, <laughs> some lift music playing. Please stand by. Let's be very clear that that wasn't the game that is more our ineptitude and <laughs> being able to display the game. Uh, let's try again. And hopefully this will work. Uh, if it wasn't clear as well, me and Grant are in a very hot room. It is really hot. We so work sweaty. in a really hot office. You are very sweaty. Uh, we work in a really hot office. Um, so if you know one of us faints, uh, if all of us faint, just tell tell everyone else. Um, oh yeah, cool thing. Most people think the loading screen's static. It's not a loading screen. It's like a. It's a real, real-time thing, and you can look around, and you can sometimes spot things, and like I was saying, you'll start to see, you know, uh, the names of, like, systems that other people have found, and maybe your friends have found. We, we kind of have to um, moderate that, though, um, especially after the kind of things I was seeing today that are beginning to appear in our universe. Poop land one. Poop land two. <laughs> yeah, poop yeah, land two. and well, slightly worse than poop land. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, so here we are. This is me a little bit further into the game, and um, and I am on an extreme planet. And I sound like a broken record. Extreme planets didn't really exist before, um, so like, not super extreme like this. Who's this guy? <laughs> uh, so there's. Where's he going? <laughs> Uh, this, the reason this guy's scanning me is because I believe there's extreme sentinels on this planet as well. And I'm like, mm, this is cool. Uh, and there's like really dense um, creatures on this planet as well, which is a thing you didn't really see before, so you didn't see the kind of full variety. And we basically, oh my god, like No Man's Sky can be such a weird game to balance um, because like if we make it so that you know, I don't know, one in ten planets are dead or something like that, then the luck of the draw that's, that some of you will just have, like, genuinely a hundred planets in a row that are dead and think that the game is broken, and then your friend will be like, all I have seen is really dense planets, and, and they, uh, that was cool. That guy's trying to kill that guy. And he, he did. Do a scan. Do a scan. Oh shit. Uh, shoot like that. Uh, scan him and uh, there are drones attacking me. And oh god. Uh, yeah, alright. Just gonna help. Uh, drones and stuff, they drop like cool tech sometimes. Yeah. Um, and there's a bunch of tech that's. I thought I got him in time. All right, so you see that little, I'm just rumbling now. See that little timer that's above their head? And um, that is the kind of timer before they alert their buddies, basically. Um, shooting and kind of uh, auto aim. I never, I wasn't a massive fan of it before. Um, like it was nice, but we rewrote it for this. Um, normally, uh, normally Dave does all the gameplay stuff and I had to do some auto-aim code and it terrifies me 
Hope, hopefully you guys like it. <laughs> hopefully it's not too sticky. Uh, right, so there's some guys over there I'm going to run. Um, cool, so you can see that I am dying really quickly on this planet because it is extremely hazardous. So I need to top this up. Uh, I need zinc for that. Oh my god, there's another guy. Right, I'm getting out of here. So like a planet like this, you just need to probably hide and stay out. But they often have the reason that they are protected um, and the reason that they are extremely hazardous often means that, you know, they have untapped resources. No man's skin game. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm still dying again. Uh, there's gold. Gold is not like the most valuable thing um, in in our world, but it is like pretty valuable. Um, Alright, so let me mine some of that. Uh, and you'll see that I can mine a lot. So if you were playing the game and you were like, Oh, I'm, I feel really constrained by the inventory being small or something like that. Be aware that you can get really big ships and really big suits. Um, so like I can mine some of that stuff and then transfer it to my ship. Use like a large ship. This guy's killing me again. Um, so like most of the time I would say that uh, No Man's Sky is a pretty chill game. That you can kind of sit and play and uh, you know, hopefully lose yourself in a little bit, um, but there are times, <laughs> there are times like now where everything <laughs> is against you and you can, you know, you can hide from that um, or you can just leave that planet, but I, I really enjoy the challenge. Um, okay, so I found a cave, so this is cool, um, I can hide out from those drones, I can also get a little bit warm here, so you'll see my like hazard protection, charging up. Um, there's a bunch of techs that are kind of new here, so if I try and install that, um, so hazard protection in my suit, uh, I can try, and you can see, because I've been playing for a bit, and because I sort of know the game reasonably well, <laughs> uh, like, I've got a lot of tech. Um, so what you normally do, because you're short of suit space normally, that's like normally one of the hardest things to upgrade, you'll want to make really clever choices. So we've got a bunch of suit tech that's actually reasonably easy to build. Um, so for instance, if I want to install this thermic layer, that's really easy to build. And then probably when I leave this planet, I would like uh, get rid of this. I would uninstall it, and then I would just build it whenever I come to a planet like this. That, that is Sean's top tip for um, keep it tuned here Tune for more, <laughs> for more No Man's Sky gold like that. Um, I I also like to trade in emerald um, and vortex vortex cubes. What's my favorite? What's my favorite color? Um, I like. Color white. Um, the oh god. So on a planet like this, if the sentinels see you at all, um, they will like attack on sight, basically. Um, you can see as well. So left on the D-pad, um, I can check where everything's at. You can see that now in the bottom left-hand corner, I've got two layers of protection. It's basically like a a, uh, a warm coat is what I'm wearing now uh, in my hazard protection. Uh, oh, so these things, uh, these are quite rare and quite valuable red knocks. Um, so that's what I was saying, the, the reason that you've got sentinels on these planets so aggressive um, is because they're protecting really rare resources. Um, like, oh, is there a gravitino ball? Money. Right, if you find, oh, right, so if you find something like this, uh, then the drones are alerted straight away and you get like a really high wanted level um, and you're basically trying to steal these. Uh, oh god. Um, 
I'm not going to die. Liable to die. <laughs> uh, the storm's clearing, so that's, that's something. Um, I'm just going to run for a second. Okay, uh, like, a, like a hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to ever see this guy. Um, I'm really good at this game, genuinely, but you and I both know that this is a tricky situation. Oh, my thing's beautiful. Right, I'm going to hide behind this rock. I'm going to get this Gravitito ball back to my ship. I'm going to grab that one. Yeah, you peace, guys. Okay, run. <laughs> uh, so they they had that little timer over them, and that's, that's gone. I'm, I'm a little bit screwed here. Uh, so I'm just going to try and get away from them for a sec. Um, what I wanted to show was scanning creatures, but uh, everyone is now running from these guys. Uh, okay, so let's let's get in a cave or back to my ship or something. Let's get out of here. This is like a this will be a four-hour stream. In fact, I'm going to stream through the night. Me running away from these guys. <laughs> <laughs> grabbing gravity no <laughs> just, it just makes it worse. Okay, there's some games over there. Some games over there. I'm gonna scan this guy. Just right, you got one health. I got what? <laughs> uh, because of the way we stream, I got here the audio, so I'm just like, I think I'm doing fine. The screen's all red. What does that normally mean? Getting them journey milestones. Oh, okay. Was that that was cold that got me there? I see the blackness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold got me in the end. We um, we picked these quotes when we were in a dark place, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the depths of development. So tired. <laughs> I see only blackness. <laughs> we're like that. People are like that. That's a good. Come to cheer everyone up. Bit, yeah. Oh, cool. Don't, oh, pick, don't pick the balls off this time. Yeah. Don't. <laughs> a good, it. good advice for, for so many situations. Yeah, next time, don't, don't, don't the pick the balls. Don't pick the balls. This isn't the first time you. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me that, given me that advice. Okay, okay. Let's just take it nice and easy. Um. So I did transfer that one back to my ship again. Top tip there. Um, because when you die, you lose the inventory that's in your suit if you die on foot. Um, so well, it gets dropped in your grave, doesn't it, Sean? It's dropped in your grave, actually. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, wherever that is, it's miles away, because as we both know, I ran for <laughs> half the, an hour in solid. The right, in the wrong direction. <laughs> no, I didn't, actually. I, I actually, I left my ship and went round in a circle, obviously. Of course you did. Yeah. Uh, Name this planet. Don't touch the walls. <laughs> and then other people who come here will know. They'll be like, "Ah, oh, it's not just a clever name. That is <laughs> a clever name." <laughs> somebody lands there, and it will display full screen. Don't touch the balls. And I like, always talk about testicles. <laughs> this, is, this is. It would. That would make sense. Since from what I've seen today, ninety percent of people name planets with some genital reference. Um, That's the, the legacy of the human race. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's our universe. Um, it's cool, that's fine. Just, I'm, sure I'm sure people will get that out of their system and then start being <laughs> sensible. Uh, right, okay, let's go back to this. Oh god, I'm already flying. Nine. Okay, so I want to charge up my um, then my glare, and then my hazard protection, titanium, and kind of like higher metals are uh, are much better in terms of protection. Um, oh crap! Right, so it's getting to night. Night is colder, um, so I will be in even more trouble. Uh, so let's see, let's check. Left on the D-pad. Uh, I don't think we teach you that anywhere in the game. 
the other thing I was saying as well of critical hits and breaking, don't we don't teach you that anyway. Deliberately. Deliberately, yeah. Everything everything's <laughs> deliberate. Um, that I died in the air. I think it's nice to learn things in games, yeah. Yes. Have your text box okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure people might even talk to each other online about this game um, and, and figure it out together. My, yeah, Sean's top, real top tip for, for No Man's Sky is just hammer all the buttons and see what they do at the start. Okay, so I can try and uh, scan all the creatures and you'll see that I have found two of 11 species on this planet. Um, and I can feed them if I get close enough. Oh. Uh. Oh they sometimes don't let you get very close. No. Oh. Uh, that's a predator. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Check him out. He didn't know. He, he looks so friendly. Guy. Um. Where is he? It's okay. He's, he's forgotten. No, he's he's going to chase you. Through. This is like. Not. You could have died. <laughs> From this cute little guy. It's so cute, folks. Oh, baby. Oh. I've got. Oh my god. Oh, no this. 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 Right, go. Go, go. <laughs> so even though I'm like 20 hours in, I'm still mainly just running away from things. He's this is scared of such a little tortoise. tortoise. <laughs> Aggressive tortoise. <laughs> so friendly. Um, that's, a, that's a baby, so stay away from him. Oh yeah, if you if you kill the if you kill a baby, then normally the parents will attack you. Um, just like in real life. Just <laughs> like in real life, it's uh, No Man's Sky can be an educational game and teach you so many. Oh my God, I'm about to die! Great. Why you? I don't hear either. Go. There we go. All right. Oh yeah, so your shield recharges, which is in the top left. Um, but you need to have your life support topped up, and you need to have your like hazard protection topped up. Yeah, so health. you should run away again. I should. It's a game I'm all just... about running away. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. If you are, if you are powered up like I am, then you should actually not be quite so fearful. Oh my god, this is like, uh, you know, you might uh, not want to stay on this planet but you know I wouldn't I wouldn't set up home here when we put in base building uh, later on in our next update uh, then maybe don't build your base here because I do have quite a good broadcast you know this is like a lesson in how not to play actually really good then. watch out for that tentacle oh, oh crap my, my hazard protection oh god I am like not fully recharging and stuff like that. Um, you could come back and recharge down to your ship. Come on, I'm here. There's no shame in running away, getting your ship, and just leaving your planet. Okay, so I should, I should interact with that monolith and find out what it's about. But these guys are up to me. Okay, I'm going to get back to my ship and <laughs> I'm going to leave this planet so that I can stop. Uh, literally and figuratively, just. Sweating. Um, <laughs> really right. the way, it's quite a nice. Don't tell me to do these things. Get a little bit of rat knocks. Uh, we can go to that planet. Look at that. And it's got a moon. Keep what I really Keep want. The way you got drone. Okay, okay, okay. What I really want is that, like, when you fl fire at a planet, for it to tell you to pop up a message, like. The creature just died. You, you know when you're in space and you're having like a battle, you know? I want every now and then it to just flash up a message saying, you killed a baby and it's low <laughs> <laughs> On Omicron 7 or whatever. <laughs> One of your stray bullets has killed the last of a species. You're, you're standing with the get because <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your stray bullet has wiped out the king of the gek. <laughs> They will hunt you war. for every galactic <laughs> wars to declare it. Uh, oh, look. It's actually, there must be a trading post over there. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, so you Let's can follow there. those guys. Yeah. Get I'm going to mine some. Oh my god. 
just going to die. Just get your ship in the way. Uh, actually, it's one of my ship. Right? So I could recharge. That's what I should have been doing. Popping into caves. This ship is huge. And... He's <laughs> looking right at you. Day, come on, go, go guy. Get back. Go on, try and mine that gold. <laughs> try and mine that gold. Uh, okay, uh, I got one one gravity nibble. Uh, yeah, totally worth it. I'm gonna mine some of that gold, guy. Oh god, here we go. Oh. What? Right, you. Actually, there's a bad. I'm just gonna set this bad spread on this ball caster, so that is why I'm missing. But look at this, right? Earlier, I mined this, if you remember. The hole is still there. <laughs> He's so proud of that. <laughs> yes! The it's hole. technically really difficult thing, right? If you fly away and you come back like years later, right? Hole will still be there if you destroy a little plant on the ground. Mind blown, right? Then that will still be there. It's that same tech that we're going to be using for building stuff. It's, it's so cool. Uh, right, I'm going to get the gold yo and let's get out of here before I embarrassingly die. <laughs> it's actually, I'm gonna like collecting things in No Man's Sky is really fun. So. Box <laughs> quote. <laughs> yeah, pre ordered out. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, it is it's this weird thing where I just like find myself zoning out and like let me just mine everything on this planet. Tap, taps into a huge <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me that stuff. Uh, what, what tech have I got on my ship? Hyperdrive. Uh, some cool cannons. Okay. So maybe take on some burritos. If you shoot the space station, you get your ass kicked. Yeah, <laughs> I said I would. Yeah. I sure would. Where's the daytime side of this planet? Let's find the sun. That's my top tip. <laughs> <laughs> it's closely related. <laughs> Almost directly. Uh, weird thing here is like you want to fly around the planet or whatever. Obviously. Not uh, over the planet. There's the sun, there's the sun. Okay. Let's... Yeah, I mean, that is the thing. Like, people... You, you can't use your pulse drive unless you're up in space. So, again, like, your best to just kind of Find the sun and then let's fly down and fly over. How do you think we're doing, Brad? Is this how you stream? Is this streaming? I believe so. I believe that's <laughs> what, what the kids do. At the end. <laughs> We never turned on the camera. How do you start? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is this it for Just fade, now? fade to black. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, this is a cool thing that we didn't have before. You can scan when you're in your ship, and you can find points of interest and stuff. And some planets have hardly anything on them in terms of like buildings and points of interest, and some planets have loads. Um, so like, that's a cool thing and this this i'm really bad for as well where i'm like i must now that i've seen a question mark i must see what that question mark is um I must collect all and the question <laughs> uh and and flying over terrain i think is looking much better it's now really i'm not um, and it's I'm, only gonna get better it's <laughs> only gonna get better well, apart from yeah on our dev build, where we make it worse, and then it will get better again. Um, okay, so you can like fly over, scan. Um, from ship view now, you can often see resources, like if there's large resource pockets and stuff like that. 
Um, you can see trees out the way further and fade in is way better and says so like uh, pop in and loads of stuff. It's very, <laughs> very technically impressive um, thing. It seems they have the space. It's enough of that. <laughs> I just wanted to show you the thing I worked on. <laughs> um, and, all right, where are we gonna go? Uh, should we? Could do a warp. That'd be a good. Oh, what a good ending! Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is. That is how you sci-fi. <laughs> Welcome to science. Welcome to fiction of science. Um, I guess go to the space station and sell some red knocks. You didn't actually get very much red. So. I didn't actually. I didn't even get that much gold. Shot like four blocks. I should. I could take on. I could take on a freighter. You can. Um, let's go in here and sell some stuff. This is it, basically. I am a. Uh, this is how Sean Murray plays the game. <laughs> Trader guy, basically just going back and forth <laughs> selling stuff. No real purpose to it. I don't really actually buy that much. I'm just like, got that money, yo. <laughs> Make it a number bigger. It's like I am. Just jump out. Obviously, should have checked this first. Sell some stuff. Get on my knocks. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a twit. Was it worth it? Rotina ball. Pretty good. Yeah, I should hang on to it, obviously. But, if not. The Gecknip, Gek really like. Um, so, you can often find a guy, and that's a really valuable thing to do. It's like, yeah. give. Give some gek nip to gek. It's worth, worth keeping that. They love, they love that stuff. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hold on to those. Sell them somewhere where it's, where it's like really needed. Get some tech Plus, I've already. How much? How much money do I have? Not that, not that much. saying that your ship's not very good at dogfighting compared to the kind of ships that I fly. <laughs> just particularly, you're just going to say that I'm not good at dogfighting. <laughs> well, compared I'm, to, I'm alluding, this is the point. I'm alluding to that. <laughs> the point that you're making. Sure, um, dies a lot. <laughs> uh, okay, so I will, this will probably go horribly wrong. Uh, I'm going to try and grab some stuff from these freighters, maybe. Um, and then I guess we're gonna like Walk stop away. streaming after that if that's a thing that we we can do <laughs> if we don't know how to turn it off um, so we're gonna I guess what we're trying to show is like some of the stuff that's new some of the things you do in, I don't know if you've ever been asked that Grant what do you do <laughs> no, once, once or twice I got asked it once um, so yeah, you like you trade and go to alien some, planets some and get <laughs> resources uh, and stuff like that. We'll uh, expand upon that. Okay, so you get much better stuff now. Actually, I've got a really good shield. He's just gone down. Yeah, I do. Uh, I think I've got a good laser now. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty helpful. 
god. <laughs> Feel like doing that thing, like my brother playing games. <laughs> it be him right now. It's like his leg would be in the air. Uh, oh, that did not last very long. That would be like my brother playing games. Uh, cool. So hopefully, that gives you a little idea of what it's like to play No Man's Sky for an hour, uh, what it's like to play near the start, and what it's like to play, you know, a little bit through it. Um, once you're maybe like 15, 20 hours in. Um, thanks for like watching and saying a lot of stuff. stuff. Really <laughs> a lot of stuff really quickly. Uh, hope you guys get to play or whatever. Bye. Cheers, bye. <laughs> thanks, you guys. <laughs>